Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. were that couple who ruled the screens in the 90s and early 2000s and still together over 20 years later, they've also proven to have real staying power. Although they aren't acting as much these days, they still live in LA and Sarah was also seen checking out a new mansion during the pandemic. Sarah and Freddie used to own a beautiful property in the elite Beller community, but when they moved to Brentwood around 2013, they loved this home enough to stay. We'll take a look at the couple's current residence and more. Sarah Michelle Gellar is an actress, producer, and entrepreneur who was spotted by an agent at the young age of four in New York City, starting her Hollywood career as a child star. Her TV breakthrough didn't come until 1993, though, when she starred in the ABC soap All My Children. Perhaps you're like me and know Sarah Michelle best for her star role as Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which she started from 97 until 2003. She gained widespread recognition for this role and it earned her plenty of awards and nominations. I know my transcripts are a little colorful. You burned down the gym. You're not seeing the big picture here. I mean, that gym was full of vamp... Asbestos. I'll just add that this is my favorite show of all time and Buffy has been my idol since I was a kid. Clearly that's why my personal channel is titled Care of the Vampire Slayer, which by the way you should check out since I have a Buffy vid coming up. Anyways, Sarah Michelle also starred in popular films and was a huge star in the late 90s and 2000s, some of which included movies like I Know What You Did Last Summer, Cruel Intentions, and the Scooby Doo franchise. She also starred alongside her hubby Freddy in some of these. From our first date, I never wanted, I didn't go on dates with other girls, nor did I even want to pursue dates with other girls. Freddie Prince Jr. is an actor, voice actor, and producer who started a bunch of TV and movie roles since the 90s, including the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise and Scooby Doo. In 2000, Sarah and Freddie made plans to grab dinner with a mutual friend, but when that pal didn't show up, the pair went ahead with their plans as they already knew each other from filming I Know What You Did Last Summer together. Sarah said, We'd had tons of dinners before, and for some reason it just felt different that night, and organically it just transitioned into something else. One marriage, two kids, and over two decades later, they still go to that restaurant for dinner together. How cute. Besides their combined fortunes from their acting careers, Sarah Michelle has a business called Foodsters, selling baking kits as well as a cookbook. At the time of this recording, Sarah and Freddie's combined net worth is somewhere around $30 million or more. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're going to take a look at legendary couple Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. and where they call home, including their traditional mansion Brentwood and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Courtney Cox and Jimmy Fallon and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. It was reported in 2014 that Sarah Michelle and Freddie had listed their longtime Los Angeles estate for around $5.49 million and they were moving on to their current house. They bought this property when they were not yet married in 2001 for about $2.4 million and it soon became their family home. Built in 1991, this traditional style mini mansion was located on Stonehenge Lane inside the prestigious 24 hour guard gated community of Bel Air Crest in Bel Air, LA. It sat on almost half an acre of land and boasted celeb style privacy, grand scale rooms, an open floor plan and exquisite grounds. Inside Sarah and Freddie's house spans 7,620 square feet and had 5 beds and 4.5 baths. There were custom finishes, marble fireplaces, and beautiful lighting complementing the interior. One of the family rooms had a drop down screen and projector, 15 foot ceilings, a fireplace, and French doors. The other fireplaces were located in the living room and master suite. The chef's kitchen had a center island, granite finishes, and a seemingly endless supply of storage. This space overlooked the family room as well as a sun filled breakfast nook. The other living room was cozy with another TV, wood finishes, and a charming cozy vibe. Elsewhere, another sitting room had leather sofas and doubled as a games room offering a pool table. They also had a wood paneled library with wall of windows and a classic design. Sarah and Freddie had a luxurious master suite here featuring 15 foot ceilings, a fireplace, sitting area, secluded balcony, custom dual walk-in closets, and dual baths. 
a recipe for a happy marriage. The master bath could rival a beauty salon in size and match a Manhattan penthouse in style. Their Bel Air estate had a unique lower level too with a bonus room, guest quarters, sunroom and home gym. Finally, moving outside, Sarah and Freddie's house had plenty of patio space, waterfalls, a swimming pool, spa and a barbecue area. Despite all this property had to offer, it was time for the couple to make a move. In 2014, Sarah, Michelle and Freddie sent celebrity real estate watchers into a tizzy when they purchased an LA area home for $6.1 in 2013, only to put it back onto the market early 2014 with a price tag of 7.9 mil. It seems like the couple was flip flopping because it's still the mansion the family lives in to this day and they took it off the market shortly after. Located in a gated community in the swank Mandeville Canyon neighborhood in Brentwood, Los Angeles, Sarah and Freddie live in this 7,310 square foot mini mansion with their kids. Listing details show their home is colonial style with three levels and partially hidden from the street behind a short stone wall and a high hedge. At the time of purchase, the home was move-in ready, but the couple has made some changes to the place since. Inside, there are six beds and 5.5 baths. The hardwood floors have been darkened and some of the paint colors have been changed to suit their taste. Not to mention, in early 2018, Sarah Michelle took to Instagram showing off a newly renovated living room. The red accents were removed to reveal a lighter, brighter color scheme. A new rug and some new furnishings made it look like a totally new space, and this room is also light filled thanks to French doors leading to the outdoor area. A double height entrance hall with statement staircase and chandelier greets you upon entry, and we can tell this space doubles as a spot for Sarah to pose for photos. This links to the formal living and dining rooms, and the former offers a fireplace, wet bar, and wine room. There's a second fireplace in a cozy study and a third one in the spacious open plan kitchen slash family room area that has glass doors to a shaded terrace. I assume plenty of family cooking has gone down in this gourmet kitchen considering both Sarah Michelle and Freddie have published their own cookbooks. Those kids must be eating well. There's a staff suite on the main floor of their home and four guest family beds on the second floor. The couple shares a roomy second floor master suite with soaring skylit vaulted ceiling, yet another fireplace and two sets of French doors opening to a private terrace. Not to mention there are double walk-in closets, one for Freddie and one for Sarah Michelle and it's clear Clear she likes to show hers off on the gram. A couple years back, she offered fans a peek inside her closet, sharing a snap of her massive shoe collection. We've seen the rest of her room size closet as well, and it features glass doors, fluffy white carpeting, a massive mirror, and an island for more storage. They also share a marble tiled master bath with dual sinks, a soaking tub set in front of an oversized window, and marble steam shower. The third floor offers more highlights like a bonus room and a home gym. Outside the Hollywood couple's home, the backyard isn't particularly large, but it does have room for several shaded terraces, a barbecue area, a freeform swimming pool, spa, and extra lawn space. All right, so I think I'll bring this Sarah Michelle Geller and Freddie Prince Junior house tour to an end here. You grew up in the 90s, you know that there's no cuter celeb couple than these two, and now you also know that the pair is still living quite comfortably with their kids in LA. Although it was reported earlier this year during the start of the global pandemic that Sarah Michelle braved the conditions to stop by an open house, it seems nothing came of that. She was interested in a brand new 8,200 square foot mansion also in Brentwood, but it seems they're still staying put at their current Brentwood house for now. After checking out Sarah and Freddie's current residence as well as their previous house in Bel Air, what did you guys think? Be sure to rate their homes or pick your favorite in those comments down below. I personally love the Brentwood home they're living in now and it looks like the perfect size for a famous family like theirs. I also recently started a personal channel, I've been posting a lot of fun stuff over there, so if you want to get to know me a bit better, please go like and subscribe, we'll link you my latest video. How we met? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it wasn't it wasn't online. We met organically. We didn't swipe left or right. No. My swipe God. for Shiro. <laughs> and then I thought I'm only with her to be closer to Shiro. That's the that's He's the truth. The star. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and drop a comment for whose house tour should be up next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.